I'm going to show you guys an exploit for killing Mog, the Lord of Blood, in Elden Ring. Now, there used to be an exploit where we could get into the boss room and just kill him, but that got patch patched out in 1.03. But it turns out there's another way for you to cheese uh, Mog from outside the boss room. This time, we're going to be using a bow. If you want this bow, you can get it at the Table of Lost Grace from the Twin Maiden Husks. Now, with this bow, we're going to need a few things in order to cheese Mog. First thing is go to this isolated merchant shack up here in Kaled. This guy will sell you serpent arrows. So, for the serpent arrows, you're going to want to make sure you have ideally 200 of them if you can afford them. Okay, so I have well over 200 now. The other thing that we're going to need to do is go to Fort Height, which I don't have yet on this character. I'll have to grab it's way over here. So, now I'm at Fort Height West. Over here in Limgrave. You're going to go up to the fort. And in the fort is a cookbook that lets you make bloodborne arrows. We're going to need the fletched version of these arrows. So, I'm going to head up here into the fort. And you'll be able to find the arrows in here. We're going to go up here. And then over to here. And in here, and right here, is the Nomadic Warriors Cookbook 6. Now, as for the mats, we're going to need Blood Rose. And inside of this fort, you'll be able to find some Blood Rose. One right there, which can drop more than one sometimes. You'll be able to get one right here. And you'll be able to get one right here. There's also Blood Rose outside of the fort. If, you can, if I can get past this guy... You'll be able to find Blood Rose. Also, you're going to kill these birds for the flight pinions. We'll get to in a sec. Uh, you'll be able to find more Blood Rose on the back side of the fort right here if you want to get this every cycle. And these, these actually regenerate, so you can get as many of these as you want. Once you've grabbed those, you'll just open the map, go back to Fort Height West. You'll run back up and keep collecting Blood Rose until you have enough to make the arrows that you need. Because now that you have that, you'll be able to go to Item Crafting. You'll be able to see uh, Bloodbone Bolts, Arrows, and Arrows Fletched. And you'll need uh, um, just one of those per set of 10. So ideally, you're going to want maybe close to 20 Blood Roses, close to 20 Flight Pinions, and then you're going to need uh, 60 Thin Beast Bones, which is going to be a grind. As for the Beast Bones, I'm going to just farm them right here on this character. It's not the best place in the game. I heal Lake South. There's some right by the spawn. And I'm going to farm these ones for the Beast Bones. Whoops, that was not what I meant to do. Okay, I'm just going to farm these for Beast Bones and then reset over and over again. Uh, but there are way better farms in the game, so if you know better, one, just use it. Now that I have enough of those Beast Bones, I need to get some Flight Pinions. I'm just going to get the ones by the first step. This is not the best place to farm these, but it's whatever. I don't need very many, so I'm just going to use this for now because this character doesn't have any good spots for farming these. But a good farming spot would be all the way over here, down here. There's a fast travel right here with three birds literally right next to it if you want to do that one instead. Okay, so now I have enough to craft enough, almost 200 arrows, of the Blood Bone Arrow Fletch. Make sure to make the fletched version. We actually have to have these. You could also make Rot Bone Arrows Fletched, uh, but you'll need Aeonian Butterflies, which are a limited supply in the game. There's only a limit, num there's a limit to the number, how the number of how many you can get. If you go over to Kayla, you can go to this merchant right here. He'll sell you a cookbook for that one, and you can find the Aeonian Butterflies all around the swamp. But again, there's a limited quantity, but you could also get those to speed up what we're about to do even more. So now we need to go fight Mog. So Mog is at Dynasty Mausoleum. If you don't know how to get to Dynasty Mausoleum, I'll try to remember to link a uh, video in the description of this video below the first paragraph. But Mog is at the top of Dynasty Mausoleum. And what we're going to do now is we are going to have our Serpent Arrows. You're going to take them off, and you're going to have the... Uh, uh, Bloodborne arrows, and we're going to take those off. We don't want them equipped yet. What we got to do is we got to go up to the top here. If you haven't fought Mog yet, you're going to have to go into the boss room one time in order to get him to be like real and appear, basically. Then you either open the game and exit like this and come back in, or you just die in order to get out of the boss room. Then what we're going to do is we're going to go here, and just to make sure we have enough, we're going to go to our inventory, we're going to find our arrows, and we're going to drop all we're gonna not discard but leave make sure to say leave leave all the serpent arrows and then uh just to be sure here let's move a little bit away from the other one and then leave 99 of the bloodborne arrows fletched 
And now these will be on the ground. Do not fast travel. Do not die or else these will literally disappear forever. What we're going to do is we're manually going to go back down now. We're going to go back to the grace and rest. If we do that, it will reset all of our arrows. And then we'll be able to have 200 of each arrow just in case we need them. Uh, I'm not even sure if we will need them or not. I'm going to be doing the math uh, in a sped up version in just a second. But once we go back to this grace and rest... It will give us new arrows, but those arrows will still be there as long as we don't fast travel. So now if I open my inventory, I can equip serpent arrows and the blood, uh, blood bone, oh, blood borns, blood bone arrows fletched. So now we're going to manually go back up again and those items should still be on the ground. So you're also going to make sure you have your bow equipped. Uh, the longbow, like I said, you can get the longbow over at the table of lost grace from the twin maiden husks. Now we're going to get back up here, and we should see that my arrows are still there, and they are. Okay, so now, we used to be able to get into the boss room using these statues, but they moved them, so they're too far away. But instead, what you're going to do is get up like this, and get up onto here. Now you're going to two-hand the bow, and you're going to look in and just scoot over to the right until you can see Mog and get a good shot on him. Then what you can do is you can use normal arrows in order to line up your shot, which I've done this enough. It should be something like this. And you're gonna use normal arrows to figure it out. You're gonna keep an eye on him. It went over his head, so I'm gonna do it down here. And, okay, I didn't mean to move it. Now I gotta do one more, because I actually twi like, twitched my finger, my thumb. Okay, we got it. It'll keep its place as long as we don't move the camera at all. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna put on the serpent arrows and the blood burn at born arrows. You can also use raw arrows here, like I talked about, if you want to. Now, arrows actually do zero damage to Mog when we're not in the boss room. But what will do damage to Mog is any of the status effects like bleed, poison, rot, uh, frost, etc. They still do damage to Mog. So what we're going to do is we're going to shoot him until he's poisoned, which should take around 10 or 11 shots at first. It'll pop up his bar once he's poisoned because now he's taking damage. Now what we're going to do, now he's poisoned, is we're going to shoot the... Uh, blood bone arrows and uh, that's just it we're just going to shoot blood bone arrows until the poison wears off and then if the poison wears off and we stop seeing it tick then we're going to stop shooting and go uh, we're gonna stop shooting these start shooting the poison but the blood bone arrows will do a chunk of his health oh maybe like a tenth so we probably won't even have enough arrows with blood bone arrows um but unless we pick up those hundred we had on the ground but i'm gonna go ahead and speed this up now so you can see this you know get done faster it's gonna take a little while Okay, so I just learned something right now for the first time, and I still have enough arrows that it's not too big of a deal, hopefully. Don't shoot him full speed. You've got to let him rest every now and then, because if you keep going full speed, he'll eventually poise break just from the raw arrow damage to him. And you do not want him to poise break. If he does, he bugs out, and you won't be able to hit him anymore. So now I'm going to have to go walk back to that grace and reset, and then come back so that he'll be, I'll be able to hit him again. And then what I'm going to have to do is do like two bleeds at a time and then just stand still for like half a minute and then just keep going at it and just be slow and steady like that. So I reset him and now I'm back up here. We're going to try this again and see if it actually reset him so I can do this. So be able to scoot over here. And we line it up. Ah, I'm just going to line up with serpent arrows. It'll be fine. I have a lot on the ground. I probably just do it right here. I've done it enough. I bet that'll hit him. All right, so that reset him. So again, like I said, it's actually gonna, you're gonna have to be careful not to spam. Just do like one or two bleeds at a time and then just stay, like wait for the poison, reset poison, just take your time. Cause if you just spam arrows till he poison breaks from the actual arrows hitting him, even though they don't do damage. Uh, so what's weird here about arrows is that um, the arrows don't do damage, but all the status effects from the arrows work so poise break bleed poison raw etc all that stuff works so even just poise break from being hit by arrows will work so you have to be very careful not to just spam the arrows even though the arrows themselves are not doing any damage so in this case i'm going to get one more bleed on him and then i'm just going to sip i'm going to go ahead and speed up this whole process again so that you can uh, see it done So 
So I am now at a point where I'm out of the Bloodbone arrows because I already used half of them before. So I'm going to go ahead and pick up... I don't know which one was the Bloodbone. Oh, there were Serpent arrows and the other 50 went to storage. So that's bad. These were the ones I wanted, but hopefully it'll be fine. So he's low enough. I should be fine, even though he has increased resistance now. So now we're going to go back to it and keep up the slow and steady job that we've been doing in order to beat Mog. We are now at the point that Mog is about to die. If you have a gold pickled foul foot, you would want to use it now. You'd want to double check that your gold scarab is equipped so you get the max runes from this. And here in any one of these shots now should do another bleed that should be the final one. I think it's 25 or 28 arrows now at this point with this much bleed resist. Because he gains PvE enemies gain stacking bleed resist. So there we go. And there he's there he goes, he's dead. And I got his great rune, and the Remembrance of the Blood Lord, and 420,000 runes, because I don't have a Gold Scarab on this character or anything. Uh, if you have a Gold Scarab and a Gold Pickle Foul Foot, that's going to be just over 600,000 runes if you do that. Gold Pickle Foul Foot, Golden Scarab. So that is how to cheese Mog. It's really a pain in the ass, I'll be honest with you guys. That was a pain in the ass, mainly because I used all my rot, my fletched rot bone, uh, whatever it's called, rot bone arrows. I used all my fletched rot bone arrows in testing and these are not replaceable because aeonian butterflies cannot be purchased anywhere you can only find so many in the game if you actually have like 50 to 100 of the rot ones and 50 to 100 of the serpent ones and 50 to 100 of the blood ones it'd go way faster because the rot does hellish amounts of damage so you could just proc the rot proc the poison just wait proc the rot proc the poison wait and then just proc a few bleeds and it would probably go twice as fast but either way that's one way you can do it right there uh, but those are the only ways you can't use other arrows. I tried using magic arrows. I tried using normal arrows I tried uh, for some reason the crossbow just doesn't work at all, which was really weird It didn't matter if it was a status or not the crossbow literally could didn't connect with the boss So when I fire crossbows at him, they just go right through him. It's the weirdest thing So that is how to do it. You're gonna have to use either the serpent arrows blood bone arrows or you're going to use our blood bone arrows fletched or rot bone arrows fletched or a combination of them and you're ideally going to want to drop them on the ground like I showed you so you can carry 200 at a time make sure that you have enough for this so that is the new cheese exploit for Mog that is how you can exploit Mog after 1.03 of Elden Ring <laughs>